the overall settlement for the NHS for the five years is already done. Uh, that, I mean, that, that was as part of the five-year plan where there's an extra £34 billion pounds a year going into the NHS day to day. In real terms, it's just £20.5 billion as it's over a five-year period. The Institute for Fiscal Studies points out that's less than funding used to rise under Labour. If that's not bad enough, Johnson is now sending ministers out to tell us it's the Brexit dividend he promised. The NHS already had the £350 million on the side of the bus. That was delivered by my rival friend, the member for Maidenhead in 2018, with an extra £34 billion pound uplift for the NHS by 2023-2040. more nurses, 20,000 more police officers, more hospitals. Well, let's break that down. 50,000 more nurses. The number of nurses actually being hired is about a third less than that figure. Don't just take my word for it. One thing in your manifesto is a promise to deliver 50,000 more nurses. Yes. How many of those will actually be new? Yes, 31,000. 20,000 more police officers. Even Larry the Cat now knows they won't be 20,000 more police officers until you replace the 21,000 your party has cut since 2010. In fact, the reality is much worse. Even the government's own policing minister, Kit Malthouse, now admits... Although we're going for 20,000 extra police officers, actually to backfill retirements, we've got to recruit something like 45,000. More hospitals. The government's signature manifesto pledge to build 40 new hospitals has been branded unachievable by government watchdog, the Infrastructure and Projects Authority. If that's not bad enough, Johnson's government has now ordered NHS Trust to describe building work on existing sites as new hospitals. It's like building a shed in your back garden and calling it a new house. Um, we set out a targeted approach to public sector pay, uh, which we thought was uh, proportionate, fair and reasonable. Uh, what that did is ensure that those in the NHS would actually receive a pay rise next year. Inflation has just hit a 30-year high of 6.2%. It could top 8% in April. So it's just another real terms pay cut, unlike the £2,200 a year pay rise MPs are getting. 